Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is going to be about two stories about two friends of mine and having a bad day in Thailand. In this one here, my friend got his car stuck in the mud and what turned out to be a 15 minute trip to a friend's house to park his truck underneath the cover ended up being two and a half, nearly three hours long. And then the second story is this. My friend, his car has been left and not used for nearly two years and we had to get the car totally clean. So I'm gonna give some prices as to how much this one cost to get his car out. And also this one here about getting the car totally cleaned of the mold. So listen to the stories. I hope you enjoy them and here we go. So my friend was off to England for a couple of weeks and he wanted to park his car underneath some cover because we've had some very, very bad rains just lately and he thought under cover, away from the sun, away from the rain. He tried to park it into a tight spot going forward and he realised that he'd be better off reversing it into the parking space. So he tried to do a three point turn and unfortunately the night before we'd had a really, really big downpour of rain. and he decided to do the three point turn in the wrong place whatsoever and his car just went down to the axle in the mud and as much as we tried to, to get it out we dug the soil out, we put soil, we put planks of wood underneath and nothing happened. But the Thai people, they are more than willing to help people out here and as soon as the, the Thai people heard that he was stuck, um, loads of people came in to help and this guy offered his services because he had a, a water bowser truck and he was going to pull it out with a water bowser truck and everybody thought, yeah, yeah, that's good, good idea. So the guy came in with a water bowser truck, he connected a steel cable up to it and tried to pull it out and then, lo and behold, the water truck got stuck. The front wheel went into some soft boggy ground and the water bowser got stuck also. So now we had to call another water bowser to be able to pull this first water bowser out to be able to pull the truck out. So it just built up and built up and built up. So how much do you think this is going to cost in the end? We've got one truck stuck, one water bowser truck stuck, and now that more and more people are coming to try and help out to, to rescue both vehicles. And the Thai people think, oh, they know best. And I was stood there watching, and it was quite funny really because because working in the fire service, we went to loads and loads of car crashes and we had winches on the fire engines and I went on a winching course and it was all to do with angles and pulleys and, and stuff like that. Now this truck was trying to pull this truck out at a 45 degree angle, so it just wasn't going to work. I know the angles were very difficult to, to deal with because of the, the way the truck could get into it, but it wasn't going to work at that angle I could see and it, this is how the, the other truck got stuck because he got stuck in the mud because his front wheel went down. Then we had double trouble because then we had to get the water bowser out. But of course not speaking Thai, I just left him to it and I, I was amused by watching him. I didn't take any videos because I didn't have a video camera with me, I just took these still photographs. So the, the Thai guys insisted on getting in the car and, and trying to, to drive it out and my friend stood there in amusement because he loves this truck. He really, really looks after this truck. And you'll see on this, this one photograph, sadly the, the photograph, I took it a, a slightly second or two seconds too late and he just floored it. He absolutely put his, the pedal to the metal and the black smoke that came out of his car while his truck was trying to pull it. It was unbelievable. If, if it had got traction on the back wheels, it would have shot through to the other end, but <laughs> but you can't knock them because at the end of the day they were trying their best to get him out. So eventually they got this second truck and they wired this strop up to the first truck and then they eventually pulled that truck out and then they altered the angle of the cable. So now the angle was at, at a better angle to be able to pull the truck out. So long story short, at the end of the day we got the guy out of, of the mud but um, it ruined a tyre also because of the guy who floored it. The wheels spun round and, and the back tyre just just blew because it hit something and it just blew. So now it's a new tyre 
and what he had to pay these Thai people for getting them out. So leave your comments down below. How much do you think it costs to get them out of that situation? I'll give you the how much it costs at the end of the video. And now we'll come on to this second video. My friend, we collected his car from the Burma border about a year and a half ago and we parked it in the shop house garage. And I used to go maybe once a month and then because it's been a year and a half now that maybe was left till every three or four months because at the end of the day it was safe and nothing was happening. And then we had the big rains and the big floods. And I went down to have a look at his property after a very, very severe downpour. And then when I looked at this, the car, the car, my goodness, it was so covered in mud. I've never seen a mold ridden car before like this. It, it was unbelievable. So I contacted the owner, asked what he wanted me to do because he's stuck in Burma and he can't get back over here for various reasons. So I'm trying to sort this out. So the first job was to go and get this, the car cleaned. And uh, we, we have a, a number of car cleaning people here in Thailand. And I contacted them. Obviously, they don't speak English, so my wife did the negotiations. And what in, involved was for them to come and pick the car up, drive it to the car cleaning shop, clean it, valet it, and then bring it back. And so how much do you think it costs to get this done? So now here's the pictures of it before it went. And here's the pictures of it when they brought it back. absolutely transformation when the guy drove it away from here he had the mask on he had a steering wheel cover he had a cover on the seat because even though he, he sort of cleaned it before he jumped in it the smell was horrendous and uh, he drove it away and i'm thinking i wouldn't want to drive that because the battery was flat he had to jump start it so there was lots of problems they had to come and collect it and then they brought it back to the shop house now their shop was about maybe it's a 10 minute drive away from actually where they picked it up. So how much do you think it cost to get this fully, fully valeted and cleaned? I was very, very impressed as to the, the quality of the, of the workmanship. Bearing in mind when you've seen it like this and now it's like this, it's beautiful. It just looks as if it was come out of the showroom. It really, really is good. So the prices, the prices for this first, to get my friend out of the, the muddy situation that he was in, 1,000 baht. 1,000 baht, that's all it is. That's it, 1,000 baht. Two trucks, about half a dozen Thai guys, and uh, a very worried owner about seeing his car getting jostled and dragged and revved up. And uh, so 1,000 baht to get it out of the muddy situation and we don't know how much it is going to cost for a new tyre, but I reckon it's going to cost at least a couple of thousand baht for a new tyre. So in your comments, were you close to the thousand baht that it was going to cost, or have you put more, or did you say less? And then this one, the car cleaning one. Bearing in mind, they came to the, the shop house to collect it, they took it back to the shop, cleaned it, valeted it, brought it back. And the cost for this, 500 baht. 500 baht to do all the cleaning, inside and outside and 200 baht for collection and delivery service so 700 baht altogether it took them a whole day for 700 baht so we also give them a hundred baht tip for for doing all of the work because <laughs> for 800 baht it was an amazing amount of work that they did so were you close on the cleaning bill as well i hope you enjoyed this video give it a like if you liked it put your thumbs down if you didn't like it Leave your comments down below. Thanks very much for watching. Until the next time, bye for now.